Hey everyone, uh, what's up? Oh, am I recording? Yes, okay, I just want to make sure. Um, the Unpro Pro here, that was very Unpro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it kind of lives up to the name. Alright, so we have no more tiles as you can see. I have, I have kind of like designed a little collider sprite, which you can get in the description. Uh, in the draw actor, everything's pretty much the same, exact same. Uh, I don't have any Y velocity scripting yet, but everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, let me open up a get it. Get it. There, get it. Alright. And there you can see. Everything's pretty much the same. Let me change that language really quick. Because we're going to be using get it again. Sources. C sharp. <coughs> Alright. I'm drinking my coffee here. Mm. So, uh, we still have the collider.x, minus, plus, stuff like that. Care left, care right. Okay. So. Let's actually get started. Uh, create an actor, go to add actor, and name them collider, as usual. But this time, don't make it a uh, don't make it a fill region. Instead, make it a normal actor. And click add, and then give it the animation, which I have actually. Hold on. Send desktop. Here we go. Game editor series, collider, and this is the little collider that you're gonna be using. Yes, it is tiny. Um, so zoom in by pressing plus on the keyboard, comma zooms out. Um, but yeah, just place him like right here or whatever, and place the player about right here. Okay, now on the player, click parent and click collider. And now uh, you can see the collider. He moves the collider because collider.x, and it, you know it's following the player. Well, technically the player is following the collider. Now you want to make it to where the collider isn't visible. It's not visible. You want to make it like a little bit farther down too, that way he'll actually be in the ground. Okay, so to make it where it's not visible, hold on. I'm gonna... Yeah, it's it's not like well, it, it's actually positioned just fine. You'll see what I mean. You'll see in the future. Actually, let's go back towards the middle here, like right here. That's fine. Um, on the collider actor, click the collider or just like the collider from up here. And if you select something, like it'll automatically pan to it, so it's cool. <coughs> All right. Um, now in the collider, what's I gonna do? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Go to create actor. <laughs> go to add action, and then go to visibility state. Don't draw, but allow events on the event actor. And you can see the collider is no longer visible. However, it still moves and still does all of its actions it needs to. So create another actor called tiles. This will be for the test. All right, add animation, give them the tiles number one. Oops, I don't have that actually saved, do I? No. Uh, desktop stuff, game editor, tutorials, uh, data, here we go. And tiles number one, where are you? There you are. Okay, so this is tiles number one. Um, uh, um, 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 oh yeah, draw tiles. Jeez, I'm like lost train of thought today. All right, so just start like drawing some tiles here. And I also took away the jump ability because, well, again, it's not really. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can actually tile these correctly. Okay. There we go. Now they're tiled awesomely. Hold right shift to delete a tile again. You know, so you can just play something else. Use the arrow keys if I haven't already explained this. Use the arrow keys to like shift between like tiles. See? And uh, as a test, we're gonna kind of be like we're gonna make a little jump thing. And I'll also show you how how to like make it to where the player cannot leave the view, even if you don't have tiles. And that grid hurts my eyes. All right. So, anyways, on your collider, go to collision like we did before. Um, top side, top or bottom side of tiles. I'm not sure if we did that last time, but just do this. Top or bottom side of tiles. Repeat. Yes. Go to physical response. Go to zero. Go to zero again. Yeah, man. <laughs> Anyways, and then click left or right side of tiles. You're on the collider actor. Make sure. And repeat is set to yes. Double y vel equals y velocity. Uh, physical response, which, oops, 
Y velocity equals Y bill. Put that like two spaces down because I just thought I'd go ahead and get that over with before I do the physical response. And I'll copy and paste everything so you can see it. Um, physical response. Zero. Zero, mate. Alright. Here. There you go. What? Why didn't it copy the Y velocity? Whatever. You have that, you have that, and then you have this. Y velocity equals Y bill. Um, let me go ahead and stretch this out so you can see it fully. And there we go. You don't actually have to type all of that, you know, but, uh, yeah. All right. You know, well, in other words, like, you don't have to type all of this. You can select it from the list like I did, if that sounded confusing at all, which I'm quite sure it did. All right, so anyway, now let's go collide into a wall here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you want to make sure the tiles are, like, behind the... Right. To do that, just drag the collider and make his Z depth a little higher. There you go. So now, uh, we've got to apply the gravity. Okay, so if collider.y velocity is less than 10, I'll copy and paste this here in a second. Y velocity plus equals 0.5. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this. So you can see it, man. Or there. If collider.y velocity is less than 10, y velocity. No! Collider.y velocity. I would have messed up. Collider.y velocity plus x5. Alright. Okay. And there we go. As you can see, he's not like. Okay, you can see how he still kind of waves a little. And uh, an easy way to stop that from happening is my method, which is. Hold on, let's actually make a jump first. Eh, okay, I'll, I'm not gonna worry about jumping. I'll, I'll worry about that in the next one, I guess. I've already covered the jumping, so uh, you can you can keep it if you want. You can redo it if you want. Uh, it's up to you. But anyways, another, a way I fix that is I create two variables. Or actually, I'm just gonna do one variable. I'm gonna go ahead and explain arrays. Uh, maybe actually no, I'll save arrays for another episode. So uh, mr make an make a variable called mr and make a variable called ml. Both are just default settings. So <clears throat> Now, okay, if mr is not equal to 1, which I'll show you here. Okay. Here, hang on. Oops. If mr is not equal to 1, Collider. Then you say collider. X equals five. So replace the collider. X plus equals five with that, and in the negative one, which is moving left, if ML is not equal to one, space it out, and then collider. X minus equals five, and underneath that, uh, for the move left, you know the negative one right underneath your if statement, you want to put MR equals zero, which will reset the move right. And for the um, the uh, MR, or for the right movement underneath your if statement, you want to put ML equals zero. Okay, so yeah, do that. And then go back to your collider and go to collision. Go to left side, which is if he's moving right. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but he's colliding with the left side of the tile. So if, if um, colliding with the left side of the tile, uh, no repeat. You don't have to have it repeat. Um, MR equals zero, or wait, equals one. And then right side of tiles, repeat no, ML equals one. Okay. Now see, look, and he stops glitching. So there you go, that's how you stop the uh, collision thing. And if you really want to make it look even fancier and have him actually stop his animation, uh, you would do this, Han. Uh, I'll do it in here. Uh, for the for the case one part, you already have case one there. So for that part, underneath your if, above the mr equals zero, uh, or above the ml equals zero. Above that, so you know you should have like if yeah yeah, and then uh, right above like right underneath your first if statement, you want to put this, if. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, if MR equals equals 1, 2 equal signs, make sure of that. 
uh, change animation character stop right. Now see, let's test that out really quick and see if that's actually going to work. Again, you know, you want to put it like right here, right, right below that. Oh no, it glitched. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now here, we'll we'll see if uh, he stops now. Okay, no, it's not going to work. Um. Oh wait, now I know why. It's because it's automatically set to this as well. So, oh, and I'll copy and paste everything here. So, your case one should now look like this. Ugh, figures it wouldn't do it. I don't know why it doesn't copy it sometimes. See? It doesn't want to copy it. That is so, like, weird. Hold on. Try that part then. Yep. Okay, there we go. So, your entire case one should look like that. You know, if MR is not equal to one, it does that. And if it is, now let's try that. Yep, there we go. He actually stops now. Okay, so that's how you make the uh, stopping animation. Okay, for some reason, oh, okay, so now I just figured out that bug too. Uh, go to your collider and then just go ahead and set set the, uh, where, where we said no repeat, change it to yes. And how you do that is click edit, collision, and then left or right, or whatever you want, whichever one you select. Make sure every one of your collisions is set to yes and repeat. So, there we go. And uh, now we got to edit the left side. And after that, we be done. Alright, so, how long has this been? I hope this hasn't been too long. Oh, well. If it is, I'll just, like, make it to where I can upload more than 15 minutes. Okay, so, now on your, the left one, again, I'll, I'll just go ahead and edit it here and I'll paste it to that. And you can pause it and do whatever you need to do. With you know, all right, so this is this is how your um. Oh, why is it so mean, man? Okay, so that's this is how your. This is how your uh, case negative one should look. Go ahead and pause that because I I don't know. Sorry, pause it if you need to. All right, so let's click OK, and let's try this out. Yeah, yeah. So now we actually have um, the player where he's like colliding into crap. But as you can see, it's still a little off. So have it like right here then. Yeah, it's like in the middle, ain't it? Let's try that. No, that's even farther. So he needs to be a little bit more to the left, maybe. No. Not to the right. He needs to be a little more to the right. Okay, let's try that. And he still like hits into the wall, but let's try a little more. Yeah, you can keep adjusting it if you need to. Yep, that looks like a pretty good right there. See how he's actually in the floor too. You know, he's like he's not pixel collision. All right, so there you go. That's how you fix the uh, little spazzing thing. And I hope you like enjoy this tutorials. Or this tutorial. Hope you enjoy these tutorials and thank you for watching. And in the next episode, we'll cover running and who knows what else. I'm always random. See you guys.